Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a, a signature, but animated signature. So, uh, to start, let's create a new document. So I'm going to just select a 1080p document and there you go. Uh, you can choose any format you may like, it's down to you. So, now I've got my document, I'm just going to create my signature. Like so. And there you go, job done. Nah, just kidding. So at this moment in time, I've got my signature, but I want to animate as I'm writing it down. So the first thing I need to do is uh, I want to actually just flip these colors. So X on your keyboard flips the colors background to foreground. And in this case, it's white. And I'm just going to make my brush a bit bigger. Just make it easier for this tutorial. Another thing I need to do is, what I'm, what I'm aiming for is going like this, right? So I'm going to start in with M and end up with the S. But to create this animation, I want to do exactly the opposite. I want to start removing from the end all the way up to the beginning. So the first thing I want to do is, I'm going to be using my Wacom tablet and I've got my short key assigned to one of my express keys. So as you can see right here, I've got duplicate layer on my top bottom. So on my top um, express key. So now I've got a layer duplicated. So painting in white, I'm just going to brush one small bit of the signature, duplicate my layer and again, brush again, duplicate the layer, brush, duplicate brush duplicate brush and just carry on going like that and as you can see because i started with yes like this i want to start with the end so carry on brushing and duplicating the layer so in my personal opinion if you want a nice nice smooth transition uh, make sure what you need to do is don't go as crazy as me in the brush size so you can go just smaller smaller brush and more layers will be applied and therefore it will create more uh, a smoother transition on the animation think about it if you have a camera that shoots 15 frames per second uh, and another one shooting 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second will be a lot smoother. And this applies exactly the same way. So what I'm doing so far is just literally just brushing away in a way, in a sense, like kind of erasing uh, certain areas of the signature. So as you can see, it's just looking good like so and look at this it's looking cool and every brush stroke I duplicate the duplicate layer brush stroke duplicate layer brush stroke duplicate the layer and it may sound boring and hard but if you have a Wacom tablet trust me it just makes your life a lot easier a lot of people think like yeah graphics tablets are just for designing and retouching but hey you can do a lot more with with a graphics tablet in this case i'm using a wacom tablet and just the fact that i use uh, intus pro and this intus pro allows me to basically just assign any shortcut key i'd like to one of my f eight uh, express keys so on my top one I decided just for, for this tutorial assign it as a um, duplicate layer because it just makes it so so much easier and so much quicker and as you can see just one click away it's literally just like brush click brush click brush click brush click and that means brush duplicate the layer brush duplicate the layer and by any means, I'm not being sponsored by Wacom. They are 
just awesome. And if they're awesome, I'm going to say awesome things about these tablets. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And I just carry on, just brushing away. If you'd like to do this on a clear background, you can do this on a clear background. Just takes a bit more time because you will need to hide and reveal the layer you are uh, basically working on. And if you, if you need me to do a tutorial based on that, no problem. Just let me know and I can do that for you so you can see exactly what I mean. Uh, the same effect can be achieved, just takes a bit longer just because of the hiding the one layer and revealing it. And there you go. So we have 221 layers. Cool. And we can't see nothing apart from a white background. So now I need to go to Window and I'm going to Timeline. Right here on the timeline, I've got two options, create video timeline or create frame animation. I won't create the frame animation. So I select that and click create frame animation. And so far, nothing happened. Nothing happened because it's very simple. If I come here, right, right here, I've got a lot more options. In this case, I've got frame, make frames from layers. So I'm going to click that. And basically what we'll do is Photoshop will see all of those layers and convert them into frames. So obviously frames, it, it, it's, it's a way of creating something moving, in this case an animation. And as you can see, it looks perfect until we click play. And as you can see, it's going exactly the same order that I was erasing in a sense. So I'm going to click stop and on the same menu right here, I'm just going to reverse frames. So what Photoshop is doing now is putting the top layer being the first on the animation and the last one, well, the top layer, which is the last one being the first and the opposite to the other one. So if I click play now, as you can see, it's coming up the signature where we stopped. So. Let's wait a second, and there you go. Look at that. Very cool. It's not super smooth. Obviously, I would spend a bit more time doing this, but it's really cool. And it's nice and smooth. Uh, you can save this as a GIF. You can save this as a video. And I'm going to show you, if you want to save it as a video, like, let's say, an intro for you, one of your videos that you post on, online. So, and the file, export, render video. And in here now you'll get a window that will, that will tell you to name the document, select the folder, where would you like to be saved, and the format and the size, and etc. And as you can see, super cool, super easy to do. And I hope this, in a way, inspires you to do something else apart from a signature, or if you want to use this as a watermark, save it as a GIF and you can do that. But make sure that uh, whatever you post it, it allows you to visualize a GIF file. That's it for now. And I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, cool. Just one thing. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button and uh, make sure you share this video with everyone you know and even with those you don't know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.